Girl Ashley Bates, and I wanted to take time to do this 911 dedication. It's a major shout out to all the soldiers, uh, the law enforcement, and the firefighters that are out there working day in and day out to make sure we stay safe and at the same time trying to make it back home safely themselves. Um, 911 was a very tragic day for all of us. Um, all of us were affected in some way. Um, for our soldiers that are overseas, yeah, a lot of us don't want them over there. Uh, we wish they were back home. I know I'm one of those. Um, but at the end of the day, they are where they are. And while they are there, they need to know that we actually love and respect them and that they have all of our support. Not just some of it, but all of our support. Because what they're doing is not easy. Um, I know there's a lot of us that weren't lining up to do what they were doing. So the fact that they are over there doing it, um, major kudos. Uh, it's not easy, you know, going through the day almost being shot at every single day, you know. So you got to think about what they're probably going through and how stressful and scared that they probably are. But they're over there doing it. And, you know, we just have to hope and, and pray for their safety and their sanity and pray for them to come back home, you know, because there are a lot that won't be making it back home. And, you know, prayers definitely go out to all those families. And there's some that have made it back home, but they were injured. So, you know... But the law enforcement, you have to give major love and respect to a lot of them. You know, some of us may not agree with certain things, but you can't let one person's actions affect your thoughts on a whole group of people. And there are a lot of dedicated law enforcement officers that work day in and day out to make sure that we stay safe and yet make it home safely to their families. And in this crazy world that we live in, that's not easy at all. So all the disrespect and the, oh, they shouldn't be here, they shouldn't be there, and they do this and they do that. At the end of the day, what happens? What do we do when something goes wrong? The four people that we look to, we look to God, the president, the law enforcement, and the soldiers. Let's face it, we don't call anyone else. You can't call the Ghostbusters in this case. Those are the four people that we call. So we just need to give them all the love and respect they need. Like I said, just keep on praying to God and for their safety, and especially for our soldiers that are overseas right now. Because I have family and friends that have either served or still are serving. And they're over there for America, you know. Like I said, everyone has their different beliefs on why certain wars are going on and why people are over there. But none of that matters right now because they are where they are. And like I said, we just need to give them our support, not hit them with any negativity or anything like that. It's because of them that we have our freedom and our freedom of speech. And they're the reason why some of us, you know, are able to do what we're doing. They've been doing this long before some of us were even born. So with that being said, um, I definitely, like I said, want to take this time to pay my respects and give my support to those that have pretty much kept me safe and kept my family safe. And a lot of us were affected by the 911. I know I was. You know, we either know someone who knew someone who knew someone, even those that may not have known anyone at all, but just watching it on TV, you were affected in one way, shape, or form. I had a manager who was on the plane that hit the Twin Towers with his family. So, you know, that's, it was pretty deep and very tragic what happened and very unfortunate. But with that being said, uh, like I said, 
many blessings and much love to our soldiers, the law enforcement, the firefighters, uh, to the families of those that were affected that lost somebody on 911, um, and especially to the kids that ended up being affected and uh, lost a parent or both parents. So with that being said, God bless, and I love you guys. A world in harmony would be a world victory. God bless the day when, when nations won't need your might. God bless the day when, when we no longer must fight. God bless our soldiers who fight for freedom and peace and justice. Soldiers, our soldiers who put their lives on the line. Great soldiers, so many soldiers who sacrifice for mankind. Yes, Without you